Shalom and welcome to the edition of Spirit and the Bride for the month of December. Hallelujah. And I always call the month of December a month to remember because we are in the final month of the year, a month of transitioning into the next year, into the new things of the Lord. Hallelujah. And indeed, the Lord is doing new things, hallelujah, in the nations. And we want to align ourselves to that. But for this month of December, as we come to the Lord's table, I felt in my spirit particularly a passage from the Psalms that is very relevant for what we are doing and where we are going in this transitional period. Hallelujah. So let me just read to you a couple of verses and I will expound on it. Psalms 18 verse 1 to verse 3 says, I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. Now, scholars ascribe these psalms to the songs of David that he wrote after he has conquered all the giants in the land of Gath. Remember I did mention before that uh, Goliath had four other brothers and David and his mighty servants, they conquered the giants and then at the end of that, uh, David penned this song and he wrote this song to the chief musician in the tabernacle so that they can take this song or these psalms and ascribe it as a thanksgiving psalms of victory over the enemy. And you will see here that the first thing that David sang or wrote, however you want to term it, is that I will love you, O Lord, my strength. Now, it's in the places of battles that we encounter God's strength because He is the one who gives us strength in our weakness and He is the one who strengthens us to overcome our enemies and all challenges that we face in this life. So He is our strength. The Lord is our strength. Amen? And because of that, we love Him even more. Hallelujah. Because He delivers us. He is our rock. See, David says, He's my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. A rock and a fortress simply means that you can hide yourself and be assured of protection provision, and of course, supernatural deliverance. That's who our God is. And you can never come to a realization of the virtues of God unless you have been in the battlefield and you have overcome your foes and your giants. Hallelujah. And He is our strength in whom we shall trust. And I, can I say that? In God, we trust all the time. And when we put our trust in Him, that is the evidence of our faith that in God, we can have the assurance and the confidence that He will always be there for us to deliver us, to heal us, to strengthen us, and so on. He is our shield and He is the horn of our salvation. And David wouldn't have known all these virtues of God without experiencing them himself. And that's why he says, I will call upon the Lord in verse 3, who is worthy to be praised, so I shall be saved from my enemies. And I can assure you that every time we call upon the Lord, 
He is always faithful to deliver us and to help us, to heal us, and to also restore us and establish us. And the list goes on and on. Hallelujah. Now, David wouldn't have known all these things, like I said, without experiencing themselves firsthand in the battlefield. The same principle applies to you and I. We can know God in the head. We can know God in theory. We can even know Him and study theology about Him. But you can never truly experience God as your strength, as your rock, as your fortress, as your deliverer, unless you yourself has gone through situations or are going through situations right now where you need God to be strong, where you need God to stand there beside you, where you need God to become your shield and your fortress, where you need God to bring you through that valley and to deliver you out of your pit. And only in that can you stand strong and tall and testify that Jesus is real and He is all that He say He is. And I believe that this is something that is so relevant for us in this month of transition. Why? Because the enemy doesn't want us to get out from our tunnels of decisions or valleys of decisions. He doesn't want us to go through a transition because the enemy knows that every time you go out from a transition or you get through a transition, you come out stronger and brighter from glory to glory. So he wants to hold you in your cocoon. He wants to hold you and keep you in your valleys and in your tunnels of indecisions and uncertainties and hopelessness. But God is going to take you out. And God is going to see you through. And He's going to bring you into a broad place, into a bright place, because He has great plans for all of us in the coming year. Can you say Amen to that? Now, later on in the same context of the Psalms, of this song actually, David says in verse 28, You will light my lamp. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. You see, when you go through a tunnel, when you go through transitions, it's dark. Dark in the sense that you can't see clearly, you can't see with clarity, and sometimes you, you have a sense of hopelessness or invalidity. But then in that darkness, God is our light. And His Word is our light that guide, that guide us and guard us step by step. Remember the psalmist says that your Word is a, a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And so God will enlighten us. He, he will light up our lamp. And that simply means that He will put oil in our lamp and He will put a spark and ignite the oil so it becomes a fire that lights up the lamp. Hallelujah. And verse 29 says that, that by you I can run against the troop. Now the word troop there is a military term that describes an army. And God is saying here in His word, that in Him and by Him and with Him, I say it again, in Him, with Him and by Him, we can even run against an army. Hallelujah. A people of God, God is able to do great and mighty things even through one single individual. Uh -huh. Even with one single Christian, God can raise you up to overcome an entire army. In Him, with Him, by Him. Hallelujah. And by my God, I can leap over a wall. You see that? What are these walls? Walls of confinement, walls of limitation, walls that kind of restrain you from entering to your promised land. 
just as the children of Israel has to conquer the walls of Jericho to enter the promise. Now, people of God, the enemy likes to put walls. He, he, he wants to limit us. He wants to restrain us. He wants to confine us. But by God, we can jump over every wall and even to break down those walls too. Hallelujah. Verse 30 says, As for God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in Him. Now, how can the word of God be proven unless you are put to the test by the word? I say that again. How can the word of God be proven in your life unless you are put to the test by His word and by the word? And when we went through the valleys of testings and trials and we hold on to His word and we trust in who God say He is, then we can prove that He is indeed faithful. And we can prove that His word is true indeed. Hallelujah. He is a shield to all who trust in Him. You see that? So what I want to say is that in this month of transition, let us place our utmost and our wholesome trust in the Lord. You know, some people say, yes, I trust in God, but, but you know, it, it's like they still, they, they still hesitate. They are still doubtful. They are still double-minded. They are like just putting about maybe 20% or 30% of their trust in the Lord, but then the, the rest is that they are still trusting in whatever faith or, or whatever that they believe in. But people of God, when we say we trust the Lord, we put all our trust in Him, wholeheartedly, wholesome and utmost trust in the Lord that He can become our shield. Hallelujah. Now, Verse 31, David says, Who is God except the Lord? You see that? Who is a rock except our God? You can never know God truly unless you experience God, truly experience God in your life. Then you can stand up against anyone and you can stand up for anyone, including yourself, and testify and say that He is God. And there's no one else like him. Hallelujah. Verse 32. It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. I want you to understand that. That in this transition that we are going through, it is God who makes it perfect and it is him who arms us with strength. Because sometimes when you go through transitions, it can weary you, it can tire you out, and in, in fact, it can even discourage you because if you are in the transition for too long and, and you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, so to say, it can discourage you as well. But yet God arms us with strength every day. Hallelujah. And I like verse 33 where it says, He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. Have you ever seen how a deer jumps or leap in the high places of a hill or the mountains? And it's so gracious. And it's like, you know, it's almost like featherweight. You know, it's so light that the deer will just, you know, leap from place to place as though there is no weight on it. Now that's what, that's what, the psalmist is saying here the analogy of a deer leaping in that grace and joy without any weight of burdens. And that's what God will do for us. He make our feet like the feet of a deer. And then He set us on our high places. High places simply means places of encounters with God, places of elevation, and in the natural, these are places of promotion as well. Places where, where God 
lift us up above our storms and our situations. Hallelujah. And I believe that this is what the Lord has for us in this month of December, entering to the next year. He wants us to know that in whatever battles that we face, He is the one who teaches us how to conquer, how to overcome. And not only that He teaches us, but He gives us the strength to do so. And He is the light that enlightens our darkness. He's the one who enables us when we are not able. Hallelujah. And I want to say that you are going to see how God is going to give you that supernatural ability to come against any enemy that you are facing. That you are able to jump over any walls of limitation and restriction. Hallelujah. And that you will be gracious like a deer, jumping in the joy, leaping in the praises. Hallelujah. And God will set you up in your high places of encounters and testimonies. And may the Lord bless you in this month of December, a month to remember. Hallelujah. And we give glory to Him. And may the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, Amen.